Hey, what's going on guys? This is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. As we all know, provision is the newest item in Paladins. It grants you up to 45% of your maximum ammo back after earning an elimination. And on a lot of champions in the game, it is absolute crap. Like I mentioned in my video where I tested provision on Grok, champions such as Pip who only have six shots in their magazine, don't really get much benefit out of this item at all. Heck, the tier one doesn't even work on some champions because it doesn't refund enough ammo. And on a lot of champions, you know, Pip and Droxes, anyone who has six bullets, yeah, it's uh, it only gives you two. It only gives you two shots back <laughs> at maximum tier. It's absolute garbage in comparison to Deft Hands. However, on champions who have a really, like really, long reload and also have a very high magazine capacity like Rom or Grok who technically has like a hundred and well a hundred bullets 150 bullets something like that it can actually be pretty good and so I've tested it on Rom who is arguably the best champion who could buy provision it's still not a mandatory item on him and it's still not something you want to rush in comparison to something like Kronos or Haven or Veteran what have you um, and I've also tested it on Grok, who is another champion who with his Spirit's Domain playstyle can benefit from having extra ammo back without having to wait to recharge his staff. And another champion that's been requested a lot to test provision on is Vivian, since of course she has one of the longest reloads in the game, and she also has 70 bullets, meaning she has a really high magazine capacity and thus can get a lot of ammo back from provision. And so that's what we're going to be testing in today's video. Now real quick in the shooting range we can of course test and see, hey, how does provision feel? Um, and we can sort of get a feel for it. But I Obviously, you know, we won't get as good of a feel for it in the shooting range as compared to an actual match with real circumstances. So we're going to be doing that as well. But first, let's buy Provision 3. I also want to buy for Deft Hands 3 just to show kind of how long the reload is once you max out Deft Hands. So if we just shoot a few bullets and then we reload, that's still a pretty long reload, relatively speaking. A lot of champions with Deft Hands 3 will have fast reloads. And so, I mean, even with Deft Hands 3, it's kind of rough to reload on Vivian. And of course... You never really want to have to reload in the first place, especially with lower tier deft hands or no deft hands at all. Reloading is something that makes you very, very vulnerable because it just takes forever. But with provision, uh, we can just shoot people and as we get kills, we'll get all of our ammo back. Now with provision one, at the very least, you get around 10 bullets back. And I believe at tier three, you'll be getting around 31, 32, something in that ballpark range, which is a pretty good amount of ammo back, especially considering how little ammo it takes to kill someone. So we can demonstrate on this Ying, which also, by the way, I should point out, I have a build sort of tailored to this. So I'm going Opportunity and Chaos with the Provision Test build, which is a pretty generic Vivian build. We have one step ahead for movement speed, very important on Vivian, because she slows herself when she's shooting. Uh, we have Eyes on the Prize for a little bit of weapon recoil uh, reduction while using Precision Sights, which can be very helpful. Uh, uh, very helpful. <sighs> very helpful uh, when trying to aim at targets who are farther away. Uh, unchecked ambition. This will give us a pretty much a one in three chance of the weapon shot simply not consuming ammo if I hit someone. And this will help me kind of slow down how fast I'm consuming ammo. So that way provision sort of has more of an effect because it has less ammo to refill me. Like it doesn't need to refill as much. Uh, so I figured it'd just be helpful to kind of have this in the build at level three. We'll see how good it is in the real match. But in my testing in the shooting range here, it was very, very helpful. And the numbed heart one as a filler. And then we also have runic ammunition at level three for a little bit of life steal just for some self sustain. And so we can go ahead and shoot the Ying here and see. Oh wow, we got we got really really lucky uh, with the card there. Barely consuming any ammo at all. Um, let's try it on the Fernando now, actually, because yeah, we're definitely going to need a lot more ammo for that. But I mean, with this card in there, I only consumed about 54, or I only consumed about excuse me 16 bullets, um, and we got all of that refunded and then some with provision because. Yeah, we pretty much only needed, like, provision two there, really. But obviously, in real test circumstances, like, my aim's gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna be missing a few shots here and there as the enemy strafe, so this is kind of be a more realistic, uh, like, demonstration of that. But then we get a lot of ammo back from killing the Fernando, and that's a tank. Now against the Squishy, you know, purposely trying to miss a few shots here, you can see, like, we've already got all of our ammo back <laughs> with provision three. Of course, we can aim at the tank. There we go, there's most of my ammo back. Oh, this thing's being extra evasive, but there we go, we kill her. I don't have to reload. This is kind of a new version of Infinite Ammo Vivian. Of course, you know what the Infinite Ammo build is, where you run Hidden Reserves and Unchecked Ambition, and then you scope in the entire match, and you literally never have to reload. Like, you never ever consume ammo as long as you're hitting your shots. Um, but that doesn't have a way to replenish your ammo. It only has a way to prevent you from depleting it. And so eventually, as you see, like, as I miss a few shots here and there, it'll, you know, 
it'll consume my ammo. And so you could run that build with provision as well, but I think that's a bit overkill and you could make some use out of our other cards, which is why I'm using the build I'll be using in today's video, which is this provision test build. And so yeah, we're gonna be testing this in a real match and we'll see just how good it is, if it's even helpful on Vivian. Of course, Vivian herself isn't that good of a champion and so we might still be struggling a lot, but the idea is just to test and see, you know, on the champion, given her kit, given what she has, is it, you know, a good option? And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the gameplay. All right, so here we go. We are on Siege, Jaguar Falls. We actually have a really good comp on our side. We have Vivian, Makoa, Fernando, Bomb King, and Grover. A lot of high levels as well. I'm actually the lowest level on the team. That's a rare occasion. I rarely ever see that happening. But we're up against a Sky, Dredge, Maldamba, Shaolin, and an Inara. So also a decently formidable comp on their team, at least for me, because I am playing Vivian, you know? If I'm not careful, Sky can kill me. Dredge can easily kill me, because he can pretty much just shoot under my shield and kill me super super effectively because of his aoe and then shaolin i mean if he goes desert silence i'm actually going to have my work cut out for me because he'll be able to cancel my shield but other than that maybe i can take him out i don't know we'll see yeah we're going to go ahead and grab opportunity and chaos here as well as the provision test build which i just showcased and we will be buying provision at the start here so again this gives me about 10 bullets back so if i only consume 10 bullets to kill someone i'm literally making a net zero of ammo and thus you know, <laughs> I will never have to reload. And if I take less than 10 bullets to kill somebody, oh my goodness, we're in the positive on ammo. <laughs> That's just crazy. It's unnecessary. It's completely unnecessary. But considering how much I'm probably going to be missing, uh, because of course they're going to be evasive, um, and considering I'm probably going to need more than 10 bullets to kill someone because they're going to get healed, uh, it might not be as good with just provision one as it would be in the test circumstances of the shooting range. And so we're going to probably need to upgrade to provision two and then eventually provision three. But, hey, that's just what we're going to have to test out here. So, let's go ahead and head out to the right, which it looks like is where most of the team is going. We got Grover over here. Mako is going to point. Oh, as well as Fernando. Okay. So, we don't have too much support over here. I'm going to throw a reveal. Yeah, we know where both of those Invis champions are, but I'm already almost dead. <laughs> oh, my. That shot is low, though. Oh, I can't hit him under the Jaguar, can I? Oh, I can a little bit, but yeah, he got full healed. Okay, and I already have to reload. <laughs> so, already off to a bad start because it took me 70 bullets and I haven't even killed anything yet. Oh no. <laughs> Let's head in with our Makoa though. We'll push up behind him. Maybe we can head in here and get some kills. So let's see. There's the dredge gone. And yep, not having to reload so far. That's good. Um, Damba's retreating. Sky's still over here. Let's go ahead and try and kill her. There we go. And keep in mind, provision procs on elimination as well as just regular killing blow. So if a teammate steals the kill, that's perfectly fine. It works just like kill to heal in that regard. We're like, you know, Someone else can take it. No big deal. I'm going to try not to reload here, but honestly, I probably will have to, because I don't think I'm going to get a kill. Yeah, so we're going to have to reload here. Yeah, this <laughs> this is already much rougher than it is in the shooting range, because, yeah, of course, the healing, especially in early game right now, is just so immense. Also, that dredge is just so annoying right now. I can't really <laughs> deal with him that effectively, because I'm Vivian, you know. Vivian struggles against every blaster in the game because they have such an easy time shooting underneath her shield, and her shield is her main form of survivability. She doesn't have evasion, she doesn't have other forms of being tanky, like damage reduction unless you just buy Haven. So, yeah, you just gotta be careful. Oh, he is going Desert Silence! Okay, alright, well, <laughs> dang, that Shaolin's gonna be a nuisance as well. We can hopefully kill him here, though. Oh, he's actually won, but I can't kill that. Okay, we have to reload again. I'm reloading way more than I thought I would have to in this video already, just because we're not really killing anything. Let me put a shield up. Probably still dead here. At least the Kraken. Okay, I barely evaded that. Let me throw a reveal here. I died to Skybomb. Oh. <laughs> I kind of wasn't paying attention to that, but also I don't think I could have escaped it anyways. Let's get Provision 2 now. Hopefully that'll be a little bit more helpful, but we gotta get kills. That's the thing. It does not help me at all if I'm not getting kills. That's kind of one of the other reasons why Provision is bad, even on some champions like Rom or Vivian. It's like, it only works if you're getting kills, and if you're not able to get those kills, then, you know, Deft Hands is just flat out better, because it's working and Provision is not. If you need to reload in the middle of a duel, Provision isn't going to help you. So, and so that's another reason, especially why I'm like Pip or someone, anyone with a low ammo count, really. Uh, it's just, it's another reason why it's not a good idea. Apart, on top of the fact that for some champions, like, Tier 1 doesn't even work, and Tier 2 and 3 just are garbage. Oh my gosh, that Shaolin is so low. Hey, someone else got the kill, and I actually got ammo back from that. That's cool. But we lost our healer. I'm going to reload again. Fernando's probably going to die here. It's Tremors and Nara as well, so... Oh, goodness. I might need to get some bulldozer this game. 
Uh, that's something you don't really see every day. Just feeling the need to buy Bulldozer, but... I mean, she is being really annoying with those walls. Tagfalls is a good map for an hour because a lot of places you can just wall off and completely stop a team from going that way until they destroy the, uh, the wall. Let me throw a reveal in there. And we got good line to fight on Shaw. I'm also not really sure whether I should be ulting right now or not. Because I am scared that Shaolin or Dredge is just going to kill me. I'm actually one shot from the Shaw. We got a Blossom, though. Uh, there's a lot of damage pushing this way, though. I don't want to die with my ult. I want to have that for the cap. So. Oh, gosh. Dredge. Oh, uh, stop doing more damage than me. Okay, there we go. We got him. That's good. Uh, stun's coming out. Let's see. We got the shot. Okay, I'm going to hold this now. I'm going to use it and just hopefully do a bunch of damage to an R. She's actually dead to Bomb King. That's huge. All right. Let's just spam some shots. Let me throw a reveal drone out there as well. Just so we can see where the sky is, where the Shaolin is. I have to reload again, though. Oh, my goodness. Of course, I guess it is my fault just kind of spamming shots at nothing. <laughs> but still, that's kind of annoying. All right, put the shield up. There we go. You're dead, and we actually did push that through. That is fantastic. And I can buy Provision 3 as well for 750 credits. So that is a 1,500 credit sink into getting just 45% of my max ammo back after earning elimination. But now that it is at its max level and we have our ult, like maybe we can get some kills here and we can really see Provision shine. I'm not sure. Or maybe I will just need to buy uh, Deft Hands. <laughs> I don't know. I'm also going to buy some Bulldozer though. Just a little bit. Just to destroy those walls because they are being very, very annoying. And then after that, I'll probably get some Nimble, just because, you know, even with this card one step ahead, I'm still pretty slow when I walk and I shoot. So Nimble will kind of finally push me above 100% movement speed and we'll get zooming. Anyways, let's head out. We're going to go to the right again, hopefully with the team. Uh, do we got Grover over here? Yes, we do. Do we got Makoa over here? He kind of dismounted a little bit early. That's unlucky or unfortunate or whatever. I'm not really sure what happened to him. Anyways, my sight fails me. Be just a little bit careful. Yeah, he's pushing up right. Okay. I'm just gonna fall back. Is he still chasing? Yeah, he's still chasing. He wants to kill me. Okay, well, I revealed him, but he just straight up does more damage to me. <laughs> I hit most of my shots there, but there was still a bit of recoil because I wasn't scoping in. And so a few of those shots just flat out missed. And I lost to a Shaolin even with my ult up. That's unfortunate, but that's just Vivian for you, honestly. One of the reasons why she's so weak, like... Her DPS is alright, but it's just she has so much recoil, she's so easy to hit, because she's so slow. And she's not very tanky, and of course, if I get silenced out of my shield, that's not good either. Oh, hello. I can still kill you, right? No, I can't even kill Sky. I can't even kill Sky by myself! Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me. Vivian is so weak, dude. Uh, unfortunate. I wish I was playing another damage champion. Someone more mobile, or someone with more damage, or anything, really. We still capped it, though, because at least my team is carrying me. We have just a better comp. We have two tanks with big, beefy shields. We have a good healer. And Bomb King is also really good. So, okay. Let me throw a reveal out there. Let's try and maybe not die instantly. We know Sky is over there. Um, I don't have another reveal drone, though. I wish I did. Normally, I'd probably go, like, reveal spam against this team comp. But that's not the point of today's video. So no reveal spam for me. That is the singular good thing about Vivian, is her build diversity. She has so many different ways to play her, uh, with her different cards, and I really like that. Okay, let's see. I should be able to take you on, right? Yes. But Shaolin is over here. Let me throw a reveal up there. He's on me. He's gonna silence me out of my shield. Never mind, he shot someone else with the silence. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna stay in the Grover Blossom radius. We're just gonna heal up. Uh, let me also get this out now. There we go. We got drones. Hello, Sha. Oh my, that's a lot of spam. I'm also not sure if where Sky is. I'm gonna throw that there. Oh yep, she's coming. She's coming. Hello, Sky. All right, she's not pushing me though. Oh my god, <laughs> why is she flying? Oh, we have a Jolt Bomb King on the team. That's hilarious. You'll love to see it. All right, let's throw a reveal there. I'm trying to be annoying to that Sky, but if I was going reveal spam, I'd be able to reveal her even after she destroys it. Oh crap, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh, Clutch Blossom by the Grover. Okay, let's see. Let's just do some damage there. There we go. Helped kill the sky. Got my ammo back. There's a reveal back there. Let's try and help kill that shot. There we go. Got my ammo back there as well. Dredge is dead. My team is just carrying me to victory right now. Um, and I don't even think she's going to touch point. Let's just try and kill her here. Die, 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 please, before we win. Yes, there we go. We barely got her. BK actually took the kill. I got, like, no kills that game, dude. Because Vivian is just... <laughs> 
she's not that great. And provision there, it was sort of helpful. Um, uh, but in the early game, though, I was still finding myself reloading a lot, but I guess I would have found myself reloading a lot, regardless of really what build I was playing at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, having that extra ammo refunded was pretty nice. It's just... <laughs> Uh, sometimes I was spending way more ammo than I was able to get back with a single kill. So, that was rough. And yeah, you saw a few times there I died simply because other champions were able to out-DPS me. Like, Sky out-DPS as Vivian, Shailene out-DPS as Vivian if he does the combo where he, you know, cripple arrows or just regular arrows and then planteds, uh, planteds me to death or plants whatever. Uh, I'm a freaking Paladin's Boomer. It's not even called Planted anymore. It's called freaking Rapid Shot. <laughs> but whenever he does that combo, you know, that's that's pretty good against me as well. And so, yeah, they're just able to straight up kill me because Vivian has a lot of recoil. She's very slow, which makes her super easy to hit. And yeah, her defense, I mean, her one defensive ability, her shield, can be just taken down instantly by that, by that silence. It doesn't even protect her completely. It's not like a personal shield. It's just a shield that only blocks a certain part of her. So Dredge can shoot under my feet, and Sky can just completely get behind me and shoot me and, you know, kill me like that. And even with Grover heals, I still die. <laughs> so yeah, Vivian's not exactly that great. I wouldn't recommend running her just in general. But if you are going to run her, Provision is at least all right. I would say it's okay to buy on Vivian. I wouldn't necessarily prioritize it, because you probably want to still go for stuff like Nimble or Survivability, so you aren't as squishy like some Haven or some Veteran, or even some more Life Rip could be helpful. But if you have the credits and you, you know, you want something to buy, like you're struggling with ammo or you just, you know, you got the things you need and you're just looking for another item to buy, this is definitely okay on Vivian as opposed to, you know, 90% of the cast. <laughs> so, yeah, we have discovered that provision is okay on her, but again, just don't play Vivian, you know, it's not worth it. She's boring. She's not good. She's just not worth it. So don't do it. And honestly, I am glad to be done with this video because that means I'm not going to play Vivian for the next month or so. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. But thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also make sure to check out my Discord server and my Twitch channel, both of which are linked in the description down below. And if you want to help support my channel, then go ahead and check out my Nexus shop at nexus.gg slash andrewchicken. If you want to help support my channel and buy some crystals or the season pass or anything that you're going to buy anyways, then go do it at my Nexus because I get a portion of the proceeds from every sale on that site. So once again, nexus.gg slash Andrew Chicken. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.